What's up everyone, Matesh here with Amtech and OnePlus is about to announce a OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 7 Pro here in a few weeks and the Pro model might have one of the best screens on any smartphone out right now. Now OnePlus phones have never really been known for their screens. They've always been good, especially for the price, but not exceptional. But this year, the Pro model screen is not only going to be a higher resolution at 1440p, but more importantly, it's going to be a 90 hertz display. Now this is super exciting as this type of display has only been available on gaming phones like the Asus ROG and Razer phone. And Razer phone also had an LCD versus the OLED that we're going to see on the OnePlus. So it's super exciting. Now it may not match the Samsung displays in terms of brightness, but the high refresh rate is going to make playing games a lot smoother on this phone. It will also allow for animation to be a lot smoother. And since OnePlus has already made a name for itself and how fast and fluid its version of Android is, it's only going to put it over the top as being the king of smoothness in Android world. And that's not the only trick they have up their sleeves for the display. They're moving the front facing camera from the notch that we have right now to a motorized pop up on top of the phone. So you'll no longer have a notch this time around. And with no notch and an in display fingerprint reader, this thing is going to have the highest screen to body ratio of any mass market phone out there. But as amazing as this display is going to be, there are going to be a couple downsides to it. First of all, it's going to be the cost. There's a reason they don't put super high resolution OLED displays in budget phones, and that's because they're really expensive. OnePlus themselves have said it's going to cost them three times their normal amount for this display. So you can expect the OnePlus 7 Pro to be a pretty expensive phone, phone getting close to that $1,000 price tag that we're seeing for smartphone flagships these days. Another major drawback is going to be in terms of battery life. One of the reasons OnePlus has gotten such good battery life so far on their phones is that the fact that they've used a 1080p display and with the fact that they're going a higher resolution, higher refresh rate, the battery is likely to take a hit. Luckily, they are putting a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in here, but you may still tell you find that the battery life lasts a little bit less than the OnePlus 60. And then finally, with the pop-up selfie camera, it's probably going to mean that the OnePlus is once again not going to have an official IP rating on the phone. Moving parts makes it harder to seal the phone up to water and dust, so you're probably not going to see it. But despite all these drawbacks, I'm still really excited to see this phone, especially if they can keep the price a little bit closer to 800 versus 1000. And at that price point, I think that people seeing this in stores, seeing that full screen display versus something like the Galaxy S10, which still has a cutout for the camera, I think people might convince themselves to buy this one instead of the Galaxy S10. But let me know what you guys think about the idea of the OnePlus 7 Pro down in the comments below, especially if it's going to be a higher price, considering that OnePlus has always touted their pricing as being, you know, flagship killer status. So I'm really curious. Let me know what you guys think. But as always, like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.